Hello, today we will be talking about two of Google's projects, Project Loon and Project Skybender. Both these are part of Google X. Google X is a subsidiary of Alphabet, which is what Google's parent company is now called. See, Google X is a very different kind of company uh, than most when it comes to projects, because Google X's main goal is to shoot for the moon, as they say. They take the projects that no one thinks is possible, that they try and will try to make possible. So we will look more in depth into those two projects. Google X's Skybender and Loon projects. On the left, you'll see a picture of Project Skybender. On the right, you'll see a picture of Project Loon with them releasing a balloon into the atmosphere. Google X's dream for Wi-Fi. Google X has, through different projects, been trying to succeed in bringing Wi-Fi to the entire world. In 2015, 3.2 billion people had access to the internet. Most of these users, about 2 billion of them, were from developed nations. So what about the rest of the world and people who live in remote locations? There are still nearly 5 billion people without internet access. They have about, had two projects recently that have given them hope in completing the school. The first was Project Skybender. The second is Project Loon. Project Loon has shown some promise being the possible solution to their goal. Project Skybender took place mainly between 2015 and 2016. Project Loon began in 2011 and is still being worked on in present times. Skybender was initially a program started to compete against Facebook's Project Aquila. The idea of the project is to have drones with solar panels on them to generate electricity so they can stay in the air for long periods of time. These drones would then be able to give wireless internet access to the people they are currently below with the use of millimeter wave transmissions. By having a fleet of these in the air, Google could then at least begin to give people who don't have access to the internet the ability to access it for a period of time, even though it may not be long. Here we have some pictures of Google Skybender. On the left was a drawn up picture of what the idea of them they wanted to look like. On the right, we have a picture of the Solar 50, which was their drone up model next to an Airbus A380. And so you understand how big an Airbus A380 is. I showed next to a Boeing. So they expected these drones to get pretty big in order to generate the electricity and to give enough Wi-Fi off. Unfortunately though, Project Skybender got canceled. Google X decided to not continue on with this project and instead move the resources and workers from this project onto Project Loon. The use of millimeter wave transmissions end up being one of the project's downfalls. The waves do not have the ability to travel far enough at the current time, only traveling a fourth of the distance a cell phone can. Instead, a complex focused transmission called a phase array would have needed to be created, but to create one of those, it takes a lot of energy to power and it's difficult to create. The highlights from the project came more from the concept of giving people without internet access the ability to gain it, and that since Facebook had a project in the works at the same time, it gave a rivalry aspect to the project as well. Project Skybender was a complete fail though. Google X just thought that Project Loon had more potential and would have a better chance of success. Instead, they took all of their members and resources from Skybender and moved them onto Loon. Both of these projects were under the project Google Access. Google Access' goal is to take on Comcast and Telenet companies in order to help bring the whole world into the internet age by giving those 5 billion people without internet access the ability to access the internet. Project Loon. Google X's Project Loon hope is to use a series of hot air balloons to create an intricate web of sort across the world. The name of the project is Loon because even Google thinks the goal of the project is loony and crazy. These balloons will have technology attached to them that will give the people internet access. By having a web of hot air balloons with internet capabilities, this would help bring internet access to people where it has not had the ability to reach it. Project Loon takes the most essential parts of a cell tower and make them smaller and light enough to be carried by this balloon. The balloons charge themselves during the day so that they can continue giving off internet connection at night as well. Each balloon will be able to cover 5,000 square kilometers. I know what people are probably thinking. Balloons over airplanes? How are you supposed to control the balloons when the drones were been remote controlled? Google uses models of the weather pattern in order to predict the way the wind will go so that they can get the balloons to where they need to be. Here are some pictures from Project Loon 
on the right, you see, will see an actual one of the balloons that were launched. That was launched in New Zealand in 2013. On the left, you have a picture of what they hope will happen once they get enough balloons in the air, that they'll be able to have a web so that each person will be able to gain internet access. These are my sources. When most people hear about Project Skybender and Project Loon, they think Google's crazy. Then you hear the numbers. 3.2 billion people have access to the internet, 5 billion people still don't. With numbers like that, you'd think it's possible. You think Google's crazy. And they are. And Google knows that. Project Loon is named Project Loon because they know it's crazy. And they gave the rights of the project to Google X because Google X is known for shooting them to the moon. And you need someone a long shot when it comes to a goal like this. But Project Loon has shown serious potential and might succeed in the future. And the whole Google access may have finally found their solution.